Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the post inspection. So what happens, we're finishing up, we're putting our letter away, and we're meeting with uh, probably you and, and, and your agent and maybe some family members, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the some of the findings basically we call it our recap and we don't cover the whole report in this section but what we do is we're going to recap some of the major things some of the things we may have already talked about in the home uh with you uh as well but we, we just kind of want to reiterate some things to you uh some of the things we found uh, again that you'll find in the report and the, and the recommendations and um you know this is this is a very it's usually a short discussion but we just kind of want to reassure you that you know this is what we have and you know you're going to be seeing it in a report very soon yeah like kevin was saying you know we try to highlight some of the uh, major issues. Uh, we definitely encourage you to read the entire report. Um, oftentimes, there are just you know too many things that we inspect throughout the course of the two, three hours, two to three hours that we're there. And um, if we don't remember it all in the recap, it'll definitely be in a report, either in the tabs or yeah. And that's a big, you know, it's a it's a great point, real quick that Jared brought up is to read the entire report. So many times, uh, our clients will get the report, and the attorneys will just say, or the agents will say, well, we just want to we just want to see the summary page, which is going to be the first page uh, with that, and then the rest of the report really doesn't get read. And there's a lot of extremely valuable information in the body of the report that really needs to be read as well. Absolutely, and. Again, you know this this report is something that you're you're paying for. So, again, we encourage you to, you know, get as much value as you can out of you know the fee that you're paying us, and definitely, you know, go over every page. And if there's ever anything unclear, uh, of course, you'll have our information. You can always reach out to us, uh, you know, at any time, you know, for some clarification. And oftentimes, you know, your your agent can give you some clarification as well. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we talk about the, the major issues, and, and a lot of times it'll be asked, well, you know, how much do you think uh, it'll cost to fix that? And one of the things we don't get into is we don't provide estimates. Uh, we don't provide costs. Uh, one, because it, it's, it's out of our scope. Two, uh, it just, you know, we don't want to give out a wrong number. Uh, you know, a lot of times you're looking for this number potentially as a negotiation tactic uh, or, you know, possible credit uh, or things of that nature. And, you know, that's something that, you know, you and your agent would talk about. And there's a lot of areas online that you can go and actually get estimates for various things based on your area as well. And that's normally why I recommend people go. So, you know, we kind of stay away from the whole money aspect of it. We're there just to try and give you, again, all the information uh, without that. Um, you know, a lot of times you may walk into a house that uh, has already been inspected. And um, they may even have the old inspection report, and that's really something that shouldn't be looked at or even considered, uh, because uh, that inspection, uh, there's no telling what happened from the time that inspection done till the time that we walked into the home. Yeah, I've actually had uh, a person interested in the home I was inspecting approach me as I was on the roof of the house and was willing to pay me for the report, you know, despite not actually being a, a client and. You know, what I told him is, you know, this is just for my current client. And uh, what a home inspection is, is it's it's a snapshot of the home for the two to three hours that we're there. And based on our findings, we can, you know, reasonably assume that if you go to close, the house will be in, you know, similar condition. But we can't guarantee that. That's why, um, you know, one inspection done on a Tuesday can't necessarily apply to the home if we inspect it again on a Saturday. We just can't know what may happen. Yeah, I, you know, and one of the things, again, that we, we really want to reiterate is, you know, our inspection is, is the day that we're there. Uh, when we do leave, uh, and especially if it's a home that's, that's currently occupied, you know, anything can happen the next day. Um, so our inspection is is that, you know, that day of. Uh, when do you get your report? Uh, as Jared mentioned in earlier episodes, we get the reports out within 24 hours or sooner because uh, we understand the sooner that you get the reports in, the longer you have to really kind of go through the reports. Call us back with any questions you may have. Um, you know, and we definitely want to try and get that uh, in within your attorney review period so you know you're not necessarily having to ask for an extension to, to, to go through that um, one of the big things uh, 
on our reports, you know, we've actually had attorneys tell us that they're a big fan of our reports. And not that our reports are going to be different than any other inspector. We all follow the same standard of practice. They're just going to be in different formats. And uh, our reports are very, very easy to read. Uh, you know, we provide anywhere from 70, minimum of 75 to 100 pictures per report, sometimes more, depending on, on what's going on, uh, because we wanted to tell a story. We wanted to tell the story about the house that anyone can pick up the report and understand exactly what's going on with it. Yeah, now there will be some some terminology that you, you may not be familiar with. That's why we also, in addition to the inspection report, include uh, an addendum with some general terminology that can just apply to homes in general. And um, like Kevin said, we have that emailed out to you within 24 hours. We know there are a lot of moving parts, you know, during the process of purchasing a home. So we always encourage you to to reach out to us if you have any questions. You know, and moving forward, you know, when you move forward with the with the with the home, the report is a great tool to continue to use as a, as a maintenance checklist uh, for yeah, basically everything that we look at, you know, whether it become your furnace, your air conditioning, your roof, your exterior, whatever it is, use it as a tool for yourself. So, you know, just don't let it collect dust. Use, use it as that checklist for your seasonality uh, areas and, and things of that nature. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, besides just looking for major deficiencies in the home, we also include just helpful recommendations that just improve the overall functionality of your home. You know, having your furnace and AC inspected annually. Um, you know, um, you know, even water heater maintenance. You know, a lot of people don't know that you should probably drain your water heater once or twice a year to empty sediment deposits in the bottom, and that helps extend the, uh, the life of the water heater. So just a lot of little things like that. Anything that we feel is appropriate as we're going through the home, uh, we definitely include that as well. And, um, yeah, like Kevin said, it's, it's a document that you can always refer to um, throughout the life of the home. There's a lot of things that you can do as a homeowner that you don't necessarily always have to call a professional for that you can learn to do that will be safe uh, and it can save you a lot of money um, down the road. Uh, so, you know, with that being said, uh, we want to invite you to our next episode, which we're going to turn the tables a little bit on this. And our next episode is going to be preparing for the inspection if you're selling your home. Uh, a lot of people, um, they come to us through the buyers on the home and they said, oh, yeah, I just went through my inspection and I had to fix this, I had to fix that. Well, if you're getting ready to sell the home, we want to let you know how to prepare for that inspection um, on our next episode. Cut. Okay. Very good. That's about eight minutes. And I say, let's do that episode six. Because you guys are on a roll. What do you think? Time in, brother. Uh, it's not me in front of the camera. I don't know what their... Ten more minutes. Level is. What do you think, ma'am? <laughs> They're on a roll. They are on a roll. Because yeah. once Kevin leaves, I'm not going to see him for another 19 months. So. No, 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 no. 19 no. months. Well, we got to check on the new dad here, so we'll see. What, what do you think, no, uh, Mr. Jerry? Uh, Taking him away. How life is, yeah. is. This was. I think this was the first. She's just with them without me. <clears throat> no. well, if you need, I mean, if you need to go, yeah, we'll go. Just, 